Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Montre and uh, today I'm just going to be sitting at my computer because I want to do some references on a couple of things. Uh, like I said, I wanted to talk about some things that affect everybody, you know, we all go through certain experiences and we explain it in different ways. Some people explain things through science and just science. Some people explain things through spirituality. So I want to find a way to combine the two. Maybe we can meet in some middle ground. So today I want to talk about sleep paralysis. Is it a demon or is it just something that happens? Let's talk about it. So, sleep paralysis, if you've never had sleep paralysis, I'm sure you have. Uh, sleep paralysis is when, you know, you're, you're in bed, you're sleeping, and you feel like you can't move. You know, you feel like, you know, somebody's sitting on your chest, and you're, you're trying to talk, you're trying to scream, you're trying to move your arms, but nothing's happening. It's like you're a prisoner in your own body, it, it's just not a good feeling to have. My own personal beliefs about that. I also have beliefs that I grew up believing and then also there are things that I was taught through school and education of what to believe and I'm going to give you all of that. I'd be remiss if I did not tell you what science says about sleep paralysis. Okay, so I'm going to read that and, and what I'm getting this from is webmd.com and I will definitely put a link in the description so that you can read this for yourself. It says sleep paralysis usually occurs one of two times. If it occurs while you're falling asleep, it's called hypnagogic or predorminal sleep paralysis. If it happens while you're waking up, it's called hypnopompic or postdormal sleep paralysis. Getting a little tongue tied. <laughs> Famous turns, I can't wake up. As you fall asleep, your body slowly relaxes. Usually you become less aware, so you don't notice the change. However, if you remain or become aware while falling asleep, you may notice that you cannot move or speak. During sleep, your body alternates between REM and non-REM sleep. Once a, one cycle of REM lasts about 90 minutes. You start to dream. Your eyes move back and forth rapidly. But the rest of your body remains relaxed. Your muscles are turned off during REM sleep. If you become aware during REM, during the REM sleep cycle, uh, you may notice that you cannot move or speak. So it's basically, you it's like you're turning your computer into sleep mode, or you're saying control lock. If you put the control lock on your computer, if I do that right now, my computer's still on. My programs are still running. It's just that my computer is locked. So I can tap on my keys all I want. My computer's not gonna do anything. So basically, uh, sleep paralysis kind of is like the same thing. Instead of uh, turning your body completely off or shutting everything down, like death, you know, that would be like dying. Uh, instead of shutting everything down, it puts your body in lock mode so nothing else can get in. So it's like control lock and now your body's shut down. But your, your brain is still going, you're still able to dream, you're still able to do things. Just like your computer is still doing programs and it still has the same websites up. But your screen is locked, so you can't, no matter how much you punch on those keys, nothing is going to happen. What was I taught to believe in religion? Well, I grew up in the Christian religion, and I was taught uh, when I was little, and I felt like that. I freaked out. I freaked out when I told my mom, I can't move, I can't move. And it felt like, yes, there was somebody sitting on my uh, chest. And every now and then, I don't know if you guys have heard this before, but I would hear this um, buzzing sound in my ear while I was sleeping. It was like which was a really weird thing and I don't know how science explains that but I would hear this buzzing sound. So if you've ever had sleep paralysis and you hear that buzzing sound, you let me know. Well my mom, she told me that it was a demon and she said that I need to pray. And so uh, when I would experience sleep paralysis and the paralysis uh, which I did a few times growing up, uh, I would start to pray in my mind and I would really, really try to say it out loud. And as soon as I was able to say it out loud, I would come back to, I would get control of my, my body, I could move everything. Um, I think there's something connected with freaking out and relaxing. You know, you don't want to freak out. 
uh, I'm not saying it's not a demon. I'm not saying that it is a demon. But I'm saying if it is a demon, if you believe in demons and spirits, being afraid, being scared is probably not the wise thing to do on a spiritual level because one, you begin to vibrate on a very negative level. So um, demons, spirits and stuff would feed off of that anyways. They would be attracted to that. So you probably don't want to do that. But I know that every time I would start praying, I would get control of my body again. So I don't know how to explain that. I'm not a Christian anymore. I'm not in the Christian religion anymore. I'm more of a, what you would call a Gnostic deist. I still believe in spirituality. I still believe in uh, the spirit world more from a metaphysical kind of level. And I have found that as I got older and I stopped being afraid of demons and spirits and whatever, that sleep paralysis was a big part of having an out-of-body experience. I realized that most of the time that I was having a sleep paralysis moment, I was actually having an out-of-body experience. And I don't know how many people have actually had an out-of-body experience. If you have, please let me know. But I realized that when I relaxed and I did not freak out, I was able to see around my body. I was able to get up even though my body wasn't physically getting up, I was still able to move, but I, I realized my body wasn't moving. I was moving my hands. I was looking at my hands, but I couldn't see any hands. And I was looking around the room. So that buzzing, and I've read several articles that say the buzzing means that you are actually separating yourself from your body. And whether it's a near-death experience or you are in that mode of sleep paralysis where your body is still asleep and your mind is awake and your mind is aware and you and it's connected to your spirit anyways that is a perfect time to try to see if you can move outside of your body don't be scared just try to see if you can float yourself up and if you have the ability to float yourself up and if you feel like you're floating away trust me you will not fly away because there's a connection unless you're dead there's a connection between you and your body so I'm just saying that next time you have a sleep paralysis moment, try to have an out of body experience. Relax, don't be scared, and just let yourself float up. And try to see if you can see around your body. Don't try to control your body. Just try to see if you can move around it. You know what I mean? Look around the room, try to see if you can see things because you're having an experience that most, I don't want to say most, but I'm saying a lot of people don't get to have because they are not connected like that. You know, they're not they're not free to move outside of their body. Now, I have some Christian friends that will say, don't do that because you'll allow a demon to get into your body if you're not in it. Well, that's why you have guardian angels. That's why you have uh, your guard, your guards, because you say, hey, you know, when you before you go to bed, watch over my body, even while I'm dreaming, while I'm asleep so that no other spirits can uh, inhabit me or uh, get control of me when I'm not aware of it. So have that experience. Please leave me a comment of your sleep paralysis moment. What do you think it is? Or is it just something that the brain is doing by itself? It might be. Maybe I'm just dreaming anyway. So let me know what you think. Is it just a dream? Is it just something that the body's doing? Is it a demon? Or is it an out-of-body experience? I would love to know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. That's it. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe to my videos. You can click the subscribe button over there. Show me some love, people, because you know I love you. If you don't do it, then who will? Peace out. Mwah.